All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our honor, our praises, our glory unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, who the Word and the calls God. Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the Word and the calls Jesus Christ. I want to say the water or thank you to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for the Rakakwadash. The Rakakwadash being the Holy Spirit, which is, the, uh, which is the driving force behind these lessons. All right, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akiyama around the world, preaching and teaching his word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom to the whole for elect. All right, it's the Art Yakal from the Minna Valley, South Carolina camp, coming back with another quick hitter. Hey, this one is just going to be on, you know, hey, times we in, all right? We are the time. We, we are in the times of the mirth uh, ceasing in Babylon the Great, all right? Because uh, St. Patrick's Day um, parades are was supposed to be this weekend, but what the Most High is uh, bringing a, a plague called the coronavirus upon the earth that has uh, them canceling the uh, St. Patrick's Day parade. All right, and this is just another signs of the time, man. The Most High bringing the mirth out of this place. All right, so I'm gonna uh, read a little bit of this and then grab some scriptures and close it up. All right, it said uh, it is the first time in the St. Patrick's Day parade has been canceled in its 48 year history. Sources tell KMBC. The decision was made after the World Health Organization officially declared the virus a global pandemic. Canceling the parade was not a decision we made lightly, said Adam Cannon, parade senior co-chair. And that was uh, talking about in Kansas City, all right? But you have the parades being canceled all around the world, all right? Here where I'm at in South Carolina, uh, the parade is canceled, all right? And if you come right here, all right, you got Savannah, all right? You got Pittsburgh canceling theirs, New York canceling theirs, all right, a big major city, all right? Like I said, Kansas City, Bay City canceling theirs, uh, Cleveland, all right, uh, uh, Cleveland canceling theirs, all right, Newport, all right, Chicago canceling their St. Patty's Day Parade, all right? So you just got um, the most high uh, halting the mirth on this place, all right? And also... I'm gonna grab this too. The Most High uh, 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 is canceling out the bread and circus. He's canceling the uh, NBA season, man. All right, the NBA season is suspended. All right, and you know how people like you know, to watch basketball, to watch sports. Period. All right, NBA suspends 2019-20 season until further notice after Rudy Gobert reportedly tests positive for coronavirus. So one of the players had uh, uh, the coronavirus tested positive for it, so they canceled out the season. All right, and this is just the Most High bringing these prophecies to pass that our ancient forefathers prophesied about, man. All right, the same thing happened in those times. All right, the same thing happened in ancient Egypt, ancient Rome. All right, the bread and circus got canceled because times was uh, getting harsh. All right, so uh, bring out the scripture. I'm starting Isaiah the 24th chapter. I'm gonna start at the top. It says, "Behold, behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and make it waste." And turn it upside down and scatter abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. All right, that this is saying it's going to affect everybody, all right, from the least to the greatest. Everyone is going to be affected. By these plagues, all right, by these things that are about to befall the earth. It said, the land shall be utterly empty and spoiled utterly, for the Lord has spoken his word. Yeah, we all, um, you know, I always go to Isaiah, the 55th chapter, that the most high uh, word, all right, would not go out void. All right, and where is this word found out? In the scriptures, in this Bible. Verse 4, the earth mourneth and faded away, the world languished and faded away, the haughty people of earth do languish. All right, and hardy means a uh, proud man. You uh, so-called Americans, and all you people all around the world are very proud, but uh, especially uh, you uh, uh, Americans, man. All right, so the Most High is bringing your pride down. You can't go celebrate your uh, St. Patty's Day, not be able to go watch a, uh, NBA games courtside, you know, and drink your beers and stuff. All right, not to say brothers don't watch uh, sports and stuff, but hey, we ain't got no damn courtside seats. That's uh. Uh, affecting our, you know, <laughs> we ain't losing money that we bought season tickets for, you know. Brothers watching on TV, so hey, it's, you know, it's, it's nothing. 
uh, verse 5, the earth also is defied under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. All right, so that's why the Most High is bringing these plagues upon the earth. All right, because these uh, the world has totally dis, uh, uh, disowned and forgot all about uh, um, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. The new wine mourners, divine languages, all the merry hearted do sigh. All right, so hey, everybody that's all happy go lucky about to start sighing, man. And that, especially you Edomites, because that's who happy go lucky. All right, Jake, life hard as shit. Jake may have fun on Friday and Saturday, maybe Sunday. All right, but even if then, Jake catching hell all day, every day, man. All right, it's mostly going to affect you Edomites, the mirth being gone. All right, but Jake is going to hit Jake too, you know. Verse 8, the mirth of the tablet ceases, the noise of them that rejoice in it, the joy of the heart ceases. Yeah, your party and bullshit is about to uh, be gone, man. All right. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. And what's the city of confusion? America. All right. Babylon. All right. Babal. All right. It means confusion. All right. The city of confusion is broken down, all right? Canceling parades, canceling the NBA, schools getting shut down, all right? Jobs getting shut down, and it's just going to keep advancing, all right? Even if it die, dies down for a minute, it's going to come back and hit harder than ever at the end, you know? Well, um, verse 12, in, um, verse 11, so like it, there is a crime for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. All right, and these are the times that we are coming in, man. The mirth of the land is going, all right, and it's about to be gone, all right? The mirth of the land is gone, man. No St. Paddy's Day weekend, all right? And that's beautiful. The Lord is uh, uh, doing these things, man. We're seeing these things come to pass. These scriptures come to life. Verse 12, in the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction, all right? It's because that's what's coming to Babylon the Great and various places, death and destruction. All right, so I want to do this lesson on about how the mirth is gone in the in the land, and it's going to continue to be gone even more, because you people still got little sources of uh, entertainment you can can use and have, but pretty soon all the mirth is going to be gone, man. All right, so hope that was edifying. I want to give all honor, all praise, all glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.